Welcome back, welcome home. New Vegas modding can seem daunting at first, I know, believe me. But it's okay, because it's never been easier, and I'm here to help get you started. There are a few prerequisites we're going to need before we can begin the modding process, and links for anything required for this video will be in the description below. First off, we're going to need a fresh install of New Vegas, and to launch it at least one time so the game can create a few files and let us adjust any settings we may need. Next, you'll need a Nexus Mods account. A base account is free and a premium membership is not required, but it can be beneficial if you spend as much time on the site as I do. While on the Nexus site, you will need to download and install Vortex as your mod manager. I already have Vortex installed, so I'll be adding New Vegas to my managed games. We'll be spending a lot of times in the files in New Vegas. Let me show you an easy way to get to those files. If you go to Steam, right click New Vegas, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, it will pull up the base directory of New Vegas. You, this can also be found by going to your Steam library, opening Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas. Now we move into the first and most important download, which will be Fallout New Vegas Script Extender, or NBSE for short. All we do is extract the contents, open the folder, and paste its contents into the base directory of Fallout New Vegas. Next up is JIP NVSE plugin. You select both of these files. Once they're downloaded, highlight, 7-zip, extract. These are going to go in the data folder under your New Vegas directory. Same thing, you just copy and paste. Now we download New Vegas Tick Fix, extract and open the folders, NVSE, and plugins. Copy the contents of plugins into the New Vegas folder in the matching location as seen here. Next up is New Vegas Anti Crash. We download the file, extract it, navigate to NVSE, plugins, and copy the contents into the corresponding location in New Vegas. Next up is User Interface Organizer. Same as before, download once extracted. You're going to select both of these folders and drop them into the New Vegas data folder. And our last manual download will be the top file in the 4 gigabyte patcher. You're going to extract it as normal, copy it into the base directory of Fallout New Vegas, and this is where things get a little bit different. You're going to right click and run as administrator. You're going to accept the pop up message on screen. And you should get this confirmation message. All you have to do is click any button on your keyboard and you're done. Now we're going to test the game. Please do not skip this step as this is crucial to ensure that everything is installed properly and the game is going to function at all. We're going to hop in Vortex. Make sure New Vegas is selected. Navigate to your dashboard, tools, and ensure New Vegas script extender is set as primary. Then we're going to launch the game. Once the menu is loaded up, you're going to hit the tilde key and type git nvse version. Hit enter. You should see version 6. Perfect. Then you're going to type git islaa, hit enter, and you should see the number 2. This verifies the 4 gigabyte patch has been installed properly. Congratulations, your install of Fallout New Vegas is ready to be modded as you see fit. But before you go, there are a couple mods and tips that I recommend before proceeding. And to start with, Nexus organizes mods in different ways. Let me show you what I mean. You have your traditional mods page, and you can go to you can go to the new tab, see the newest, latest mods that are coming out, download them individually. Now that we have a mod manager installed, when you go to a mod, you just go to files. And let the mod manager handle it. Vortex handles all this for you. There's also collections. A collection is exactly what it sounds like. It's a whole group of mods. And this is where we're going to be starting. With New Vegas Essentials by Noble772. If you navigate to a collection. Scroll down. Click on mods. You can see all the mods that are in this collection. Some of this may look familiar. Because we have already downloaded several of these manually. The rest of these can be done through Vortex without any issues. Vortex may end up flagging saying that you already have some of these and say that they're redundant. You can disable one of them if you like. 
And you may also receive a notification saying that you need to install the four gigabyte patcher manually. Just ignore that because we've already done that. I'll be skipping through these mods on screen, but the links will be in the description under the recommendations section. Just navigate to each of these mods and select mod manager download. Jam and the B42 projects are some of my favorite things added to the game so far. Adding new quality of life improvements like sprinting, hit markers, Fallout 4 style quick loot menus, uh, weapon inspections, grenade and weapon bash hotkeys, and plenty more. All the settings for these mods are handled through the mod configuration menu in the game itself. MCM is another mod that's useful configuring many of the mods on Nexus, so that and iHUD will be required for many of the other mods to work in this category. Vortex is an extremely useful tool with functions that can help notify you if you have any file or load order conflicts, as well as help you set up separate profiles for the same game. Now navigating to the profile tab under Vortex, you can see that I only have the default New Vegas profile currently. And if you've been following along downloading the recommended mod list, this is what I would consider my foundation for base New Vegas. This is the foundation in my eyes. So to make sure that we don't break any of the progress that you've already accomplished, let's create a backup of this point so we know this is the foundation that we can build off of in the future. Doing so is very simple. We just click the little drop down arrow next to edit, go to clone, and we're gonna name this base mod list. Then we're gonna clone this again, and this is gonna be our test dummy. Whenever we're downloading a collection or a new group of mods that we're unsure if they're gonna be stable or work together properly, this is where those are going to go. And the reason for doing that, having these separate profiles is just in case you break something, it's only going to be broken in that profile. So you can revert back to a separate profile to when your game was stable. And then you can build off of it from there, seeing what works, what doesn't work and have, it's like creating a backup of your uh, Windows installation. You have that restore point to fall back on if you mess something up. If this guide has helped you at all, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials and general Fallout content. If you need further assistance, we have a great community here at this channel. We may be able to help in the comments, and of course, I'll do what I can. However, I highly recommend you join our Discord and head to the new channel there for any further assistance. But I think that's it. I've been Rod Tactics. You are all amazing. Thank you for everything you are doing for me. I hope that I can return the favor and do a little something for you here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, several hundred mods just gone. I think that was almost 500 mods on this. Gone. I'm gonna do it for the channel though.